Hey everyone, my name is Savannah and I'm with Baby On Board and I'm 19 years old. Um, I am currently pregnant and you know, obviously this whole thing is going to be about sex because you know, women do get pregnant and they do have sex. Yes, they do. It is not a big shocker. It's just kind of something that if you've ever seen an info, you have definitely seen someone who wants sex all the time. And I'm sure you've met people who say, eh, I don't really want to have sex. That's okay. It happens. Some women actually lose their entire sex drive. Yes, I was the type that really, really liked sex. And then I got pregnant and went, that's nice. No, thank you. No. Oh, you're, yeah, no, you can go ahead and go to the bathroom. No, I'm not going to help you. No, I'm not going to give you anything. Not my problem. So, a lot of women don't want to ask, well, what about this during sex, and is that okay during sex, and is it even okay to have sex? How did you get knocked up the first time? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But, you know, it's not going to poke the baby. I mean, there are things in the middle between you and your belly, you know, you, you have a big bump, but, um, it, it takes a lot to poke to your belly to see the baby, but you may be going inside, but there's still a sack and every other thing in the way because I'm pretty sure that as long as your partner can possibly be I really doubt that he's going to be able to check if you're dilated because if he can do that power to him and if you enjoy it power to you I'm not that girl just so we're clear I mean I mean tons of people they have questions and, you know, it's okay to ask questions. I, I remember the first time, not the first time, well, it was like the first three weeks of finding out I was pregnant. I actually had to call my doctor. And it was before I was eight weeks. I called my doctor at like two o'clock in the morning and I said, I have no idea what this is and I don't understand why it feels like this and I don't understand what just happened. I felt like a squishy ball just kind of, bounce and hit me. No, it was not my partner. I guarantee it was not my partner. So I asked the doctor what it could be and she told me that it's perfectly normal. I said, well, what was it? She goes, oh, it's the baby. No, it's not possible to touch the baby, but apparently you can make your uterus bounce. Or something weird like that. I never fully understood it, and at that point I just didn't want to ask any more questions. It just... I've never felt anything so strange, because it was like, you know, you're hitting your bladder. I, I thought it was my bladder. I really didn't understand what... It was... Something. But, um, you know, sex is not painful during pregnancy. Actually, it can be. I've actually had times where my partner and I would love to have sex. We would love to do a lot of things. Touch me and I will cut your hands off. I made it very clear to him there were times when I could not be touched. It was so sensitive, just so... It was so painful, I couldn't stand it. But then there were other times when I was like, oh my god, this is the best I've ever had. It's different for every woman. A lot of women, as you'll know, because, you know, your pains and, you know, whatever you get, sensitivity becomes heightened. So there are times when I'm so sensitive, you cannot touch me. And then there are times when I'm just sensitive. And it's a very nice, very, very pleasurable sensitive. I mean, you know, it's not, 
your baby has no idea what's going on. There's your, your baby doesn't ask you questions. Your baby's like, okay, what is this? Oh, well. I actually made a joke with my partner. We think that the baby likes him because we've had sex. Just so you know, because we have had good sex, he thinks the baby likes him. Mind you, men are not always the brightest. Just let them think what they want and it will help them feel better and you get more out of it. I promise. But, you know, the most comfortable positions that I've learned about, don't touch your belly to anything. I, I had larger boobs when I got pregnant, so it wasn't a big deal to kind of like, oh, you know, my boobs are in the way, whatever. It never really passed it until a certain point and that's all I had to tell people. How big are you? My belly passed my boobs. I, I don't know. It just... So, doggy style is a great way of doing it. But I do recommend your hips get a lot higher. There's actually a way of doggy style that you can do that's really weird. It's like if you have a bed and you have your partner on a chair and you're not really on your knees but you're basically bent over. It actually has a very, very good position and you can bite the bed because you can do whatever or you can muffle it by having your face shoved there or, you know, as long as you can breathe though, just make sure you can breathe. It is a very, very important thing. Just breathe. You can do pretty much anything and he's sitting down in a chair basically and you're just being propped so it's kind of like your boobs get to sit there and you have no problems and you have this giant area for the belly to be and it is not uncomfortable and it's actually one of my favorites I actually was one of those people who like to be on the bed and just have my belly down and just be like I'm done but that's kinda of my thing I mean it is so much easier if you are on top versus him when you hit a point, you will not be able to kiss your partner anymore. You will not. I have no doubt. We barely are able to even try and attempt to put our heads near each other. There's this giant bump in the way that we just kind of go, okay. That's, I don't know, but it just, it's weird. But just because you're pregnant, doesn't mean you shouldn't have sex. It's actually supposed to be really good for your cervix. I mean, if you think about it, constantly something going through, in and out, I think that'd make it easier, better practice. What's the harm in that? But, you know, everyone's different. Some people feel very uncomfortable. Some people feel like it's great. I mean, it the cum from a male is supposed to soften the cervix. And when you get further in, like, to the furthest point in your pregnancy, you're supposed to have a fully softened cervix. So it can dilate very nicely. I don't know why. But I'm assuming so it would be less painful. I really have no idea, so don't ask me. I'm not a doctor. But it's supposed to soften so you can, you know, phew. Watermelon out of a coin-sized hole, mind you. Watermelon out of a coin-sized hole. Don't watch it. Don't put a mirror down there. Don't. Just, just... You can save yourself the trouble. I'm gonna have it videotaped and look at it later and show it to people who I really don't want to reproduce. You can wait. But it's supposed to soften it. And they call it effaced is what I believe. So, uh, at about 30-something weeks, 37, give or take a couple days in there, uh, I was 37 weeks, and I went into the labor and delivery. They said I had one small contraction. One tiny little thing. It's not a big deal. It's okay. I was one centimeter dilated and 75%. So, 75% is a pretty good, you know, place to be at, like, 37 weeks. You know, it's not bad to dilate a little bit, you know, here and there. Things are really great. So it's one of the easiest ways to induce. 
I mean, it's, you know, I mean, which would you rather do? Try all these oils and things and prods and pokes and points and things or get a lot of pleasure out of it. Because depending on how sensitive you are, there are plenty of people who have never had really good orgasms until they were pregnant. A lot of women claim they've never had an orgasm and then they got pregnant and then they learned exactly what it was. It's, you know, it's a lot, but, you know, it's kind of how things work. Actually, now I've learned that, you know, having sex during pregnancy is not really awkward anymore, just considering you put him there, him or her, you did it, so it's kind of I'm sorry, a baby doesn't even know what a cigarette is. You, they, no, you're fine. But right now, I am 38 weeks, I think, on the dot is what I heard last. I have no idea. So around 38 weeks, give or take a day, two, three, four, I don't know. But I figure I'll show you my belly, because, like I said, I feel very, very large. And I went from about here to having that. Yes, he has dropped. So, I figure, enjoy yourselves. Don't be so serious about it. It's okay. Just relax. Sex is not a bad thing. Well, that's all I have to say for now. This is my time hosting for Baby On Board. And good luck. Enjoy the sex. I promise it won't hurt. Unless your doctor says do not have sex, enjoy it. My doctor told me today, wait one more week and I get off bed rest, and then I get to screw until this child comes out of me. So, trust me, I would love to get back into things I would love to do. But it's a very good exercise and, you know, walking helps. But... Enjoy yourselves. Have a nice day.